Yeah, she performs Gimme More. It is amazing <laughs> to see that. That is definitely a fan favorite. What's going on guys? This is Jordan Miller. I'm the owner and founder of Breathe Heavy. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a trip down memory lane and watching a video that I posted from 10 years ago that I uploaded to YouTube after I had seen one of Britney Spears' private femme fatale tour rehearsals in Los Angeles. But before I dive into story time and relive my glory days, let's play that intro. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love. It's greatly appreciated. And if you're new here, welcome. On this YouTube channel, I share my experiences running Breathe Heavy. That includes what it's like being an entrepreneur, business mindset, fitness, Britney Spears, the Free Britney Movement, Gaga, pop music. It's a little bit of a big niche, but these are all the things that make me me. And I'd love for you to be on this journey with me as my YouTube channel continues to grow. All that to say, please subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so I haven't actually seen this video that I mentioned of me talking about my experience watching her private tour rehearsal. I haven't seen it in literally 10 years. I have seen the thumbnail and I just look at it and I'm like, Ugh. I just kind of cringe a little because I think we all look back on our old selves when we're in our early 20s and we just kind of cringe. I think we're supposed to be like that. <laughs> I have changed so much, obviously, in the last 10 years as everyone does. So I have just kind of not looked at this video because of just straight up secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> However, I do think it'd be an interesting experience to rewatch it and then kind of pause as the video's going and interject and tell you what it was like to watch one of Britney's private rehearsals with only about 10 people in the audience and just being in that intimate setting and what was going on with Breathe Heavy at that time, I think could be a really compelling story. I'm not sure what's going to come to mind, but I do have a pretty vivid recollection from that day. So I'm curious to see what I said and what I'm going to say now. <laughs> That always makes for a good YouTube video, not knowing what to say, isn't that just great? <laughs> but before I click play, I'd like to set up how this even came to be. So the year is 2011, Brittany is getting ready to go on tour, and so she's rehearsing in LA before making the trek. At that time, I had just started to kind of mend a relationship with Brittany's team. In case you didn't know, I kind of fractured the relationship that I had with them at that time because I was very outspoken and still am about Britney's conservatorship situation. And at that time, the way I spoke about it was very abrasive. So it's no wonder that they kind of kept me at arm's length. However, they did come through during the femme fatale era on multiple occasions, including this private rehearsal. The other really cool thing that they did for me during that era was give me 20 tickets to Britney's surprise show at the Palm. So I got to invite a lot of my friends and it was a really cool experience. I was invited by Britney's then manager, Adam Lieber. I don't believe he has any sort of involvement with Britney's career at this point. I know that he manages Miley Cyrus. He called me and asked me if I could get to LA in about a day and a half because he was inviting me to see one of Britney's tour rehearsals. At that time, I wasn't working on Breathe Heavy full-time. I had a job in marketing. And so I asked my boss <laughs> if I could do this. And they of course said yes. They knew that I was a big Britney Spears fan. And honestly, regardless, if they would have said no, I was going to that rehearsal. <laughs> so I said, yes, absolutely, I'll be there. And I booked a hotel room in LA and got my act together and drove out the very next morning. I don't really remember who was in attendance. There was only about 10 people or so. I just remember sitting next to Perez Hilton and I remember that Just Jared was there. So for me, I felt really extra special because these are like some media giants and then I'm over here like little breathe heavy. So it was really special that I got to go. I mean, obviously I understand because I had a big Britney influence, but in terms of traffic compared to them, I just felt like I was a small fish. I remember just being there and just being in awe of Britney's flawlessness. But before I go any further, let me click play on this video and <laughs> bracing myself for secondhand embarrassment, but it's all good because that's part of this YouTube journey is letting you in on my experiences with Breathe Heavy, including the days that I was a troll. <laughs> all right. Here it goes. Hey, what's up? This is Jordan Miller from breatheheavy.com, and I just got back from seeing Britney's Femme Fatale tour rehearsal here in LA. I'm in my hotel room right now, uh, 
talking to you guys. And the show is nothing short from spectacular. She sings live for most of it, which is phenomenal for fans to be able to hear her. Well, that didn't age very well. <laughs> I think at the time, I was under the impression she was singing live because they, from what I recall, after the fact, they used like pre-recorded vocals to make it appear that she was singing live. But in retrospect, I don't believe she was singing live. I could be mistaken about that. If you know, please drop me a line in the comments. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I just remember thinking that she was singing live and then getting dragged for that later. All right, let's continue. <laughs> and to be a part of such an experience that was so intimate, you know, that had her kids in the audience, her boyfriend, her oh. dad, her assistant, and to be sitting next to huge names, surreal. Um, I forgot that her family was there too, that's right. I remember seeing her children. And I remember them, actually, now that I think about it, like they were playing some sort of like Game Boy or some kind of game thing. And I remember thinking like, how could you be playing a game? Like, <laughs> But it makes complete sense, obviously. But yeah, her family was there. That's right. And Sabi was there. She's featured on one of the Femme Fatale tracks. And she kind of kind of has an infamous line where she says, steam me like a pot full of vegetables. And I remember talking to her. Well, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Let me get back to the video. The show is Femme Fatale themed, obviously. And it's an armed and dangerous Britney with a gun on the run. She's running from paparazzi. She's running from... <laughs> Um, bad press, and even a stalker who tries to track her down throughout the entire show. Um, she has a few different aliases that they show, and they remix the tracks from different parts of the world. So she's traveling all around. Oh, yeah. And then you get to hear that in the song. And as Perez already confirmed, yes, yeah, she performs Gimme More. It is amazing <laughs> to see that. That is definitely a fan favorite. And just to know that she performed in 2007 and received such bad press and to literally watch before my eyes a 180 where she's performing this song. She looks Aww. happy throughout the whole show. She's energetic. She's interacting with the audience, which just goes to show how, um, how much she's going to connect with fans when it's in a stadium. You know how cute. <laughs> I don't even feel like I'm watching myself. I do remember being blown away when she performed Gimme More during that rehearsal and I was like, you know, just shocked because for years she didn't perform it because of the 2007 VMAs, which by the way, I met Britney hours before that performance in Vegas. It's for a different video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just remember being like, oh my gosh, she's performing it. That song is like, the, that's like literally one of her best songs, if not her best song. So that was super cool that I got to see that like, you know, in such an intimate setting. And I do recall them kind of reworking all the songs to have kind of more of a worldly feel. Super interesting. All right, let's continue. Truly a cool experience. Um, Highlight uh, of the show, maybe of my life, I don't know, <laughs> um, was totally accurate. <laughs> Still is. Got to go on stage for I Want to Go. Oh my gosh. Um, I forgot about that. I don't think I have any pictures or video of that. What I just said was that I got to go on stage for I Want to Go, which is a song off Femme Fatale. And yeah, they invited us to go on stage and you were next to Brittany and you were like doing like the dance move or whatever. And I forgot about that. Wow, that's probably one of the highlights of this video right now is I just totally forgot about that moment. That was super cool. A couple years later, I got to go on stage with Brittany during Peace of Me, um, which was also super cool. And that was in front of a crowd, a big crowd. So that was just a totally different experience. Another video idea. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I forgot that we got to do that. That was super awesome. Okay, continuing. And I'm pretty sure that they have photographs of that, which is oh. terrifying. Oh. <laughs> um, but uh, <sighs> speechless, you know, it was the coolest experience. Um, I couldn't ask for more. The show is not going to disappoint. Fans are going to love it. 
I did see it live, obviously, and it did not disappoint. And I think I saw the version that they they included a lot more songs, and I think that towards the end of the tour, they ended up cutting a lot of the the set pieces and some of the songs, and so I got to see like one of the long versions of the show. And she kicks off next week in Sacramento in front of thousands of people. They have a few more rehearsals to go, a few kinks to work out, um, <laughs> but you guys are going to love it, and I can't thank um, her team enough for inviting me out and getting Aww. and allowing me to share this experience with you guys. With that, I thank you. I love you guys, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, that was really special to watch. I mean, uh, just to relive that with you guys, that's super fun. And I love how brief that was. I went to an entire rehearsal and I just talked for two minutes and 40 something seconds. I, in retrospect, should have done a review, but now that actually that I'm thinking about it, I remember them saying to not do a review. That anything that we said had to be kind of brief and to the point because they wanted the reviews to kind of flood in from people that were seeing the show in the arena setting. So actually that makes a lot of sense why my video is so brief. So there's a couple things that I take away from watching this. And the thing that comes to mind first is that I was doing the damn thing. I was living my best, most authentic life. And I think I can look back and at that time just being so grateful that I had that opportunity and I'm still grateful for that. And hopefully there's more opportunities like that to come in the future when artists can tour again. And then another thing that comes to mind is my outfit, <laughs> which is probably not something you'd expect, but I feel like just, I look so unprofessional. I mean, I guess I'm wearing a tank top in this video, <laughs> so. At least I'm consistent. But next time I go to a Britney rehearsal, God willing, I will definitely be dressed to the nines. <laughs> Another thing that comes to mind is that Britney's cover of Madonna's Burning Up, which she performs in the show, had leaked online like a day or two before I went to this rehearsal. So I remember standing there in a group of people talking to, you know, Sabi and Adam Lieber and some others. And I remember saying that, oh, like, I, that's so cool that she performed the Madonna cover because, you know, that just leaked. And I remember Mr. Lieber's face was like, like, uh, like he had no idea that the studio version of that song had leaked onto the internet. And I was telling him this news that he was hearing for the first time. And he had this reaction, like, kind of like, damn it. <laughs> so that's kind of funny to recall that. And overall, it was just a really great experience. Obviously, Adam Lieber, I know you're not watching this, but thank you for creating this experience. Ideally, maybe in 10 years from now, I will review this video of me reviewing this video and do a little video inception for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. I'm super curious to know what you think, so please drop me a line in the comments. I'm answering to every comment, so I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And hey, while I got you, please make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. That would really help my channel out so much. And with that, thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video. Outro.